making a run for the ATM. People in Cyprus try to withdraw as much cash as they can on news up to a tenth of their savings could disappear. The situation is unacceptable. They've deceived the people by saying that no deposits would be seized. Why should they take our money? I don't understand this. We work and we deposit the money for our own purposes and they come to take our money. This is unfair. Unfair. With banks closed for the weekend and a public holiday on Monday, one man showed up with a bulldozer. We are protesting against the deceit we faced as far as the deposits are concerned. They were saying that our deposits were safe. Now we have to see what we can do. The Cypriot government announced this unprecedented one-time tax on deposits as part of a deal to receive $13 billion in bailout. So, how does it work? People with savings of less than 100,000 euros will pay a levy of 6.75%, but those with anything more on their accounts will forfeit 9.9%. This radical measure will raise 5.8 billion euros, or around $7.5 billion. Cyprus is now the fifth Eurozone country seeking a rescue package to weather its financial crisis. But this is the first time ordinary savers will carry the burden. Cyprus is a unique case. There's a stark contrast with the other bank bailouts within the Eurozone. In Cyprus, the problem really lies with the oversized banking sector. Our rescue programmes are always designed to solve problems, and if that's the case, we can allow for financial help. Almost half the depositors in Cyprus are believed to be non-resident Russians. Economists are expressing concern that penalising the people will set off a crisis of confidence in banks. They've just taken a big hit. I think people will be very wary now about using Cyprus as a business centre. And that means in the long term, will they really be able to pay back some of the longer term uh, bonds that are due you know, later down the line? The Cypriot government was elected just three weeks ago on a promise to negotiate a swift bailout. He says the decision to impose the bank levy was painful but unavoidable. It's little comfort to his people, still asking why they should be bearing the brunt. Gerald Tan. Al Jazeera.